Okay, fries for the boys. This World Cup is sorted, mate. Back of the net. Just look at the short man. Going in. <laughs> Just look how it pulls with the cheese. Brothers and sisters, let's imagine a scenario. So, it's the World Cup next month and you've got your posse coming round and you're tasked with sorting out the culinary loving and all you've got is some fries in the freezer. Well, Uncle Food Busker's got your back because I'm gonna show you how to make K-Fries. Oh, yes. K-Fries is an East meets West mashup where you take your French fries and you put various ingredients on top. I'm going to use kimchi, which is an Asian pickled cabbage. And then normally you'd serve it with like minced beef on the top, but we're going to take it to the next level and use these beautiful beef ribs. Let's get them prepped. Okay, just going to get some vegetable oil, drop that over my beef ribs, just make sure that it's fully over all the meat. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of salt on, make sure you season enough, and then onto a searing hot pan and what we're going to do is just caramelize and brown and start getting the flavor going on the outside of these ribs. Now we're going to create the uh, liquor that we're going to poach it in. So we get some cloves in there, get a couple of star and eat. Uh, I'm going to a little bit of uh, cinnamon, drop it in, and then I've got about ooh, 75 mils of soy sauce. I've got 500 mils of beef stock, and then I'm going to put a good 200 mils of mirum in there, and then top it up with some sake. Okay, and then that's our poaching liquor. Let's get the ribs to go in. Lid on, in the oven at 170 for three hours, and then it's just gonna fall off the bone. While that's cooking, let's crack on with one of the other toppings. Now, K-fries, crunchy fries, toppings, cheesy sauce, yeah? So I'm gonna use some Gruyere so that we get those nice cheese strands which are just so satisfying. But this is an Asian Western mashup, right? So I'm gonna make that beautiful cheese tangy sauce that you can make with miso and tofu. And I'm gonna put some yuzu in there for some citrus action and some sheer koji for just another element. If you haven't got that, don't worry, you can do it with just that. Let's get it into our blitzer. Into a blitzer, you want one third miso in she goes and then you want two thirds tofu drop that in and then I'm going to put some sheer koji I'm going to put like two or three tablespoons of that in and I'm going to put a good tablespoon and a half of the yuzu juice get that in and then what you finish off is with some white wine vinegar just to get the consistency and you want that acidity again that's going to make it mm, you know what I'm saying Okay, that's been blitzed through. Now, for those of you that saw this sauce on the breakfast muffin that we did, and we're like, oh, tofu. Listen, brothers and sisters, make this, and it's going to blow you away, and you can put it on so many different things. It's such a great sauce, so don't be prejudiced to tofu. Oh, mate, that tang. So good. Okay, let's get it off. Now we're going to make the Korean bulgogi sauce that we're going to put through the beef. It's going to be delicious. So we start with about 100 mils of soy, and then I've got some uh, ginger and some garlic that I've pureed down. So I'm just going to get that in. I'll put the measurements in the description box in the recipe below. Then we've got some sesame oil. You need about a teaspoon of that guy. Uh, we've got some granulated um, golden caster sugar. Get that guy in. And then, traditionally, it's um, Asian pear, but I couldn't get hold of that. And if you can't get hold of it, then just get some nice apple juice and that can replace it. So get that into the bowl and then let's just incorporate all those ingredients. And then you just finish off with uh, some spring onion and I get the white and the green. I like the different vibes. One of those guys, really. Get those in. 
That's the sauce done for the beef. We've got the kimchi. We've got our cheese sauce and we've got our grated cheese. I've got some nice sesame seeds. We've got our chips and then the beef. Okay, let's have a look. Like, look how beautiful that is. Like, it's so incredibly tender. I can just see looking at it, but oh my God, so juicy. And we're just gonna pull it apart, put it through the sauce, and then drop it onto the crispy, crunchy fries. Arrgh, it's gonna be mega. Come and have a look at this. Look at that, like it's just so tender. It just falls apart. Such good depth of beef flavor. And look, just completely falling off the bone. Okay, we're nearly time to build this dish. What we need to do is we need to put the sauce into a saucepan, cook it for about a minute and then add the beef. But first off, we've got to drop the fries into the fryer. Like that is a work of art. It is so beautiful. And like, let's just taste a little bit. Like it's so now succulent, it was succulent and fall apart anyway, but now it's got that beautiful Korean. Oh man, that is beautiful. On top of the crunchy fries with the kimchi and then the naughty sauce and then the melty gruyere. Meet him, meet him your next best mate. This is gonna blow your friends away. This is so tasty. Oh, I can't wait to put it up and eat it. Okay, let's check on the fries. Everything's ready, the fries are done. So fries into a bowl, and then we're just gonna season with a little bit of salt. So, we're just going to toss those in the bowl to get them fully seasoned. And now it's time to get into the tray. Once you've salted the fries, put them into your tray. Then it's time for the beef. Pour the beef over the fries. Then you add your Gruyere cheese so it can start melting on the hot beef and the hot chips. Add the kimchi, then add your miso cheese sauce and top with sesame seeds. And then let's get that in the oven for five or six minutes to start melting that cheese. Just look at this work of art now. Just imagine that dropping it. The game's just about to kick off. You drop that in front of the boys and they're like, brother, you sorted us out. Right, I'm just gonna go in. Like what I'm excited about, oh, just look how it pulls with the cheese. So good. Right, I'm gonna get a bit of kimchi, bit of the short rib. Hands down, that's brilliant. That is so good. Ah, oh, the Asian flavored short rib with the kimchi and then the crunchy fries is just genius. And then just let's taste it with that tofu sauce. Genuinely, you gotta do that. That's gonna blow people away. That's bloody delicious. Just look at the short rib. That's mega. Okay, I reckon that that is what? It's gonna feed four boys, no problem. So I reckon it's a sharing plate, 15 quid. 15 quid for the whole lot. Okay, let's take it to the streets, a Shepherd's Bush market and see if they will pay. They better. Wow, look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How good is that? Wow. Hey, that's how good they are. It's pretty yeah, good, it's pretty good. Now, boys and girls, this yes. is Harry, isn't it? Hi. We knew each other when food busking first started, right? Yes, I did see you when they were in South Bank. That's right, And that's wonderful. Right. And look, you're still Five, six years there. ago. I know. And you're still Unbelievable. There. And he's with his friend, sorry. Now. Sorry now, good to yes. meet your brother. Right, okay, so what we have is K-Fries. Go, get and in, wow. get in, get in. Really looking forward to this. Let me, let me check this out. This is kimchi, isn't it? Kimchi. It's unusual kimchi with chips. Exactly. But this, is, mm -hmm. this is like, wow. 
So it's an it's like an East meets West yes. mashup. Yes, mm. wonderful, wonderful. Taste it? I think I Let should probably it. try as well. Mm. Like what are you saying about that the is, beef? There is sweet on it, and the onion flavor is wonderful, and the kimchi, what you call it, aroma, blend into yeah, it. Yeah. You are a wonderful chef. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I, I'm loving mm. this. Mm. The white yeah. sauce with yeah. the chips is brilliant. It's mm. good, right? Mm. Gordon Ramsay is nothing can compare with it. <laughs> Feel it. Now, mm. for the whole thing, imagine for a second it's the World Cup. Mm. We've got the beers in, the music's up. Right. England are winning. Wow, man. Yeah. Two, two nil, two nil, right? That we are feeling day. happy. Yeah. And then we bring this down and we put it there. What would you pay for the whole thing? What do you think it's worth? Is it for four of us? I think it's for four of us. I would pay £12 per person. Well, £12 per person? Yes, for this. Love, Harry. Yeah. £12 per person. Because you have everything in it. You've got the sauce, you've got the kimchi, you've got the beef, you've got the yeah. chips. You and extra sauce with it. Wow, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What do you think? How much? 15. 15? For the whole thing. I think that's fair. 15 is a bit too cheap. Because you think so? Look listen, at your, listen to Harry, yeah? Yeah, you look, look at the meat. It's so nice. This is ribs. It's not a beef flank. I'm going in. Come here, Harry. Come on, come on. Yeah? <laughs> it's not a beef flank. It's a, it's a ribs. Brother, I couldn't yeah. agree with you more. Yeah. Right, enjoy, boys. Mm. Tuck in. Thank you very much. Good. Boom. Left the lads finishing those guys off. Like seriously, this turned out so well. First time I've cooked it, I'm so happy with it. Like the short rib. Try it, love it, increase the peace, subscribe to the channel. 2-0 England, easy, easy.